next up to the microphone, we have one of my closest friends in the world, one of the most delicate, careful, imaginative writers and performers that you'll ever meet. She is just constantly always pushing me to grow and to ever be more comfortable being something else than what I've been before. So please give it up for Alicia Nicole Harris. Depth over distance every time, my dear. And this tree of ours will grow tall in the wood. But it's the roots that will bind us here to the ground. Mm -hmm. Depth over distance is all I asked of you. I may be foolish to fall as I do Still it's the strength in the blindness you feel If you come into mm -hmm. If you come into painted eggplant for you. The eggs on your plate, a hard scramble. Morning my time comes a bit too early for your blind eyes, for your capable heart. So I snuck over the sun-buttered mountains, barely spotted your town of 9,000, entered your storied home and kicked off the snow. Let your old English mastiffs, all 240 pounds, bark in my face. Lick my black nylons from knee to thigh. The marble kitchen permanently smelled of cilantro, and your hands were huge. With one thumbnail for strumming flamenco, baby, I could have danced for you all night. Feet like pearls aglow in the lights of your lavender candles. There was a labored music coming from your room when you locked us in. When you looked at me like my first name was now. My body instantly visible and pliable. We were naked and raw and it didn't feel wrong. Our hips like a tide. There was a sea beneath us carrying the sort of love nonsense we spelled on sheets notes and, and time signatures and, and treble, treble, treble. Mm -hmm. The first night, you weren't supposed to undress me, but you did. I couldn't resist either. Just like, just like the first time I grabbed your hand 10 mini minutes after meeting you. It was like this right here. This artist, this autistic genius. This flawed beauty, this man who plants lilacs and drinks vinegar in the morning, so it wasn't surprising how quickly it all went sour. You wouldn't draw me when I asked you to. Instead, you inappropriately used the nib of your calligraphy pen to split boxes to sculpt the underside of silence. And when you said my name over a bowl of cooling soup, it lost all its definition. I knew you were in love with a vision, just not the woman attached. I was afraid to say the wrong thing, to speak strongly. Our last night together, you spilled your ink on the page. I rushed to fill the space with too holy to bathe and for an instant the truth is absurd then amen to it and amen to us I didn't care whether you were white and skinny whether you lived in Oregon or not hell I wanted to didn't need a reason didn't need to make it rhyme all I needed was a one way heart in a west coast flight and I'm not asking you to change your mind just, just think about the depths when you remember the distance how 3,000 miles is not longer than the moment spent between us. Hold on, wait until that love sun breaks from the arms of the Lord.
the heels of my return. You didn't call to say you missed me. You didn't call to say you cared. And just like that, we were over. Easy. I half laughed, half cried. Didn't know if it was the jet lag or if I had just gotten used to sleeping in late and calling you mine. But, but the whole time, your bed was low and flat, scarcely six inches off the ground. At any point, I could have stood to my feet and walked away. Mm -hmm.